Okay, hello everyone, Saifo here, and welcome to the uh, very first episode of Let's Play Ghoul Wars 2. I am on my, uh, my character, Jay Peterman, and uh, he looks pretty badass. He's wearing a pirate's outfit and a top hat. Can he get any better? I don't think so, but his hair kind of messes up, so let me just show you what he looks like without his hat. So, there we go. And there we go, isn't he amazing? Hey, 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 someone just walked through me, that's not very polite. So, uh, I bought this pirate outfit, pretty much the very first thing I bought off the gem store. So let me just uh, minimise chat, and uh, get rid of it, minimise the map a bit, and I can show you some of the abilities. So, uh, here we go, sword flourish, give a display of swashbuckling sword mastery. There we go, ha ha, take that. And now this one is shout. Shout a mighty taunt to all in earshot. Yar, Bloody brilliant. And this one is walk the plank. I said that crap. Walk the plank. Uh, I tried to do a silly voice, but hey, I got a silly voice. So let's just walk the plank here. La 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 la. And I fell down. Not very nice. So this one is call a parrot. Summon your trusty pet parrot to accompany you for a time. And uh, he's very pretty, let me just say that. Isn't he lovely? And he walks, and he flies. So he walks, flies, and everything. And this final ability here, let me just pick a prime position. Let's go up here, birdie. Come up here. Yes, let's go. It's a bit bugged, but still. And let's build ourselves a cannon. Ha 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 ha, yes. Fire! Fire! Fire, dammit. Excellent. There we go. So, what am I going to do, you may ask? I'm going to actually do my personal story. I didn't do it, so let me just go over here to the uh, waypoint. And uh, first, before I do all that, let me just bring up my hero panel and tell you who J. Peterman is. So, I'm J. Peterman. Cormier, the goddess of truth, blessed me when I was young. Though trouble may follow me, I have overcome, overcome it with charm. Bloody hell. Brilliant. I grew up among the nobility, and I value my honour. I've made something of myself, and the only thing I regret is that I never recovered my sister's body. I am a guardian. I wear the pauldrons and bear the burden and loyalties of a fanatic. This is my story. There's all the uh, things here. Fanatic pauldrons, dead sister, nobility, charm, and Cormier. And uh, now Defending Shamor is a starting human event, and here we go, here's the personal story I'm going to do. Welcome home. So, I was injured by the flying debris when that earth elemental exploded. I work in the care of Priestess of Duena, who kindly let me know that my friend Farron has visited me. I need to see him, but the Priestess asked that I return her a favour by protecting Shamor farmers first, so I did. They need help, but now I am eager to get back to my home city. Um, I don't think I read that properly. Talk to Farron is basically what I have to do, so uh, I think I, I don't think he would like me to be dressed as a pirate. I'm going to get in my proper outfit. Here I am, I have a shield, I have a one-handed mace, and there you go. Purple. you gotta got to have some purple on you somewhere, mate. So there we go. Yes, let's enter the instance. Okay, so this is my home instance. This will change depending on the actions that I choose, the uh, the choices that I choose. Wait, the choice that I action that I that I uh yes, whatever. Over whatever here. I do, it shall happen. Okay, so there he is, Lord Farron himself. Hello. My time is precious. Ah, uh, the hero of Shamor returns. Come and see how friends and neighbors alike have turned out to welcome you home. A party, Farron? For me? Or is this just an excuse to get your friends together and see what's in my wine cupboard? Nonsense! Heroes are always popular. These nice people simply insisted on congratulating you and celebrating your brave victory. And you insisted on breaking out my finest food and drink for the occasion. You deserve no less. Still, I can't take all the credit. Your household staff was most helpful, even eager to facilitate the process. I wish my servants loved me half as much. But then, I am lovable in other ways. 
And the less said about that, the better. Now wipe off that smirk. Let's go enjoy my best roast duck and brandy. Sounds blooming good, if I, if I may say so. Um, not too much in the way of brandy, since I don't drink, but hey, JP Edwin can have as much as he like. So, I guess we go around here. What a beautiful area. Look at the architecture. Oh, it's fantastic. And it's gone. There it is. And, and it's gone. There it is. And it's gone. And it's back. And it's gone. And it's back. Okay, so, <laughs> they didn't build that properly. Let me just ah, say that. The guest of honor. Can I offer you a drink? Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the hero of Shamor. Would you care for refreshments? So, hero, Are you come ready? one, come all, and prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Do you have everything you need? <laughs> well, amaze me. Go along. Come on. Fun times. Okay, I guess not. Oh, there we go. By all means, start the show. Gather around, gather around. But not too close. My tricks are daring and dangerous. And now, prepare to be stunned. Right out of your shoes. Behold! Fire from my hands! Whoa! Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That one got away from me. Still, as far as tricks go, that one was well done. <laughs> Thank you. For this next trick, I shall dazzle your eyes. Would you care for an appetizer? Behold, magenta everything you need. Ish. Come on, people, I'm working ah! here. And now, some magicians conjure a single dove, but I shall summon an entire flock out of thin air. Can I offer you something? Behold! Ah, my eyes! Somebody shoot them! Help me! <laughs> Help! Oh, they're illusions. <laughs> That's the life of a master magician, folks. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Now, prepare to witness a feat no other magician has ever performed and lived. Watch carefully. I can only do this once. Behold! Would you care for an appetizer? Alakazam! Alakazoom! No, that's not it. Alakazap? Do you it's have definitely a definitely Alaka something? Uh, Alakaboom? Oh, <laughs> yeah! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Alakaboom. I must remember that one next time I. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry if I, if I frighten all the little children, but hey. So let me just uh, go around here. I'll just uh, explore a little bit. It's a lovely area. I just like to show things around a bit. Show off things. So, the leaves, bit flat, but at times, bit bushy. So, uh, this, this place is definitely, definitely very pretty. I mean, I could live here. I mean, I, I, if, I, if I could afford it, of course. What is it? Uh, done enjoying the festivities, old friend. Yes, I think I am done. I'm outgrowing the party myself. I'll tell the servants we're leaving. Sounds good, thanks. Alright, oh, oh. Hey, dude, the servants. I think, I think you're, uh oh, what's this? Bandit thug. Since when are we friends with them? They're just walking in here like, oh. Gods help us. Block and bam. So that is a brilliant ability, this one here. Basically, I block, and then whenever I uh, block an attack, I strike back. Now, Warrior has those abilities on a couple of different weapons, but I'm glad that, uh, that a Guardian has them as well. I heard Farron shouting. Where is he? I saw those ruffians dragging him down the street. They're going to kill him. Calm down. See to the other guests and make sure no one else has been harmed. I'll go after Lord Farron. 
There we go. Well, we have to rescue Farron. Let us go, J. Peterman. So, oh, I'm not even level 6 yet. Wow. There we go. I thought it was like level 8, but hey, I guess not. So, a couple of people have been asking me, you know, what I've been playing. What's my main going to be? <laughs> At the moment, right. I'm only going to have a bunch of alts. Um, I have a level 20 warrior. Her name is Little Minxie. She is great fun to... Come back here. She's great fun to play. Um, I, humans, to me, are bit too cocky at times, like, I have Dr. Funke, she is a mesmer, and she keeps on saying how amazing she is all the time. I'm so amazing, I, I amaze myself, or something like that, you know? Very cocky, but things like, uh, my little Minxie, who is Asura, she thinks, she says things like that too. Go away, don't need to speak with you. And, uh, so, maybe it's because I've chosen Charm as a, um as an ability, as a prerequisite or something, but who knows? Being uh, overconfident is apparently charming. So, okay, where am I going here? Wrong way. I want to get this POI. It's inside the tavern, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. Wait, no, it's not. It's in this one. Where's this point of interest? Is it back here? There we go, Rook's Row. Who's Rook? There we go. Bam! So that grants me some, uh, wow, 33% damage reduction. So I did really, oh, whoa, whoa, enjoy playing a Guardian in the beta. And uh, I do see myself playing a Guardian because they are definitely fun. And, uh, oh, oh, whoa. Smash open the door, why don't you? And they definitely are fun. And I think I will have one, you know, past level 20 at least. Level 20 is is kind of my uh, cap now to see if I really like different uh, different classes, otherwise known as professions. But uh, believe me, people say classes quite more than they say professions. And that was my latest ability I just learned. That was a shield of absorption. Create a dome around you that pushes foes back and absorbs projectiles. Now, when it says absorb, does that mean it just uh, just absorbs their damage? Or does it actually take some power from those attacks? Making me stronger, making a stronger shield, who knows? Aha, hello Swindle Hand Sal. How are you? So at the moment, I do not have weapon swapping, weapon swapping, weapon swapping. Sorry, that's available at level seven. So another level and a half, and I'll have oh, level swapping, level swapping, weapon swapping, weapon swapping, level whopping swapping. Which uh, I'm pretty sure that I will use a hammer. I mean, I should have already been using my hammer, but I wanted to learn those final skills, and I did. So now it's hammer time, baby. Rock and roll. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, they're all dead. Hello, Lord Farron. <laughs> Thank you. I'm feeling much better now. Yeah, that's good to know. Am I pleased to see you? Though if you wanted me to leave the party, a simple begone freeloader would have sufficed. I'll make a note of that. Any idea who these hooligans were or what they wanted? Not really. I did hear them discussing a farmhouse in Shaymoor. They were going to lock me up there with the rest of their hostages. Then I have more work to do. I can't save you and leave the others to rot. Bad form, you know. Count me in. I may not be a centaur-killing berserker like you, but I can take care of myself. I'll meet you there. Yes, so, uh... There we go, ladies and gentlemen, my very first personal story on J. Biden. G. Biderman completed. I think I'll have some power. Yes, give me some extra power for my Finish guardian. I am an encumbrer. Ah, darn damn it. I don't want me to go over there. Oh, you already bowed all them. All in our gone bitches. They'll all use the O's tonic and take them. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. Okay, so uh, let's exit this uh, instance, and I'm some kind of ooze blob now, for no apparent reason, other than, uh, wait, no, there is a reason. I needed the bag space. Excuse me. Oh, I'm back to normal. There we go, so that didn't last too- whoa. Looks like that Assassin Creed fella, he's a thief. 
Oh man, I am definitely going to make myself a thief and look like that. That is epic. Oh yes, thief is definitely going on the uh, on the playlist next up. That looks awesome. So I said awesome. Oh my god. And uh, well, my next personal story is all the way down here in some kind of bandit hideout, which apparently I knew where it was. So I'm not too sure if I'm a bandit or used to be a bandit or have some kind of bandit communique. But hey, Lord Farron who heard that there is a uh, a some kind of hideout where the other hostages are, and I immediately knew where it was. So be right back in the tick, and I shall do that personal story. Okay, and we are back. I'm outside the uh, the house here of banditness, and I've got that I can get myself a little uh, utility skill here. So I'm thinking I'd get this uh, sword of justice or a hammer of wisdom. Hmm, to defend you or defend you? They both do defend. This one says duration 20, range 600. This one says damage 20, so it does some damage. So I think I get the sword. So that's how it's done. And uh, then I'll equip that one, and we can uh, test that out. So I have my hammer. Oh, you've killed them all. What a pity! I really wanted to test out ability out. Yes, enter the instance. Ooh, chasing the culprits. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, that is a very lovely piece of art. Time to make those louts pay for ruining your party. I've got my good sword, sensible shoes, and my fighting coiffure. What else do I need? You're as ready as you'll ever be. Glad to have you with me. But do me a favor. Stay close. That way we can protect each other. Don't worry about me. Swordmaster Bongo the One-Eyed told my parents I was the best student he'd ever seen. So, uh, where do we go? Down. Down, I guess, yes. Down to the hidey -o. Ooh, yes, extra, extra special things down here. Oh. Sure it's safe here. We left a lot Hello. Of Time to rain the, this party. Sword of Justice, do me well. It's hammer time, ladies and gentlemen. And you're dead. Banish time, too. Boom. And you... Go flying, son, and I sort of just gone poon you. Oh, you're dead. That is just so unfortunate. That thing looks incredible. Look at that. It has a bit of a chain on it, and it actually belongs to the guild as well. It's the Sword of Justice for the Pink Yeti Army. Brilliant. So here we go. I'm going to send this guy flying over the edge. Let's see if it works. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. And I'm experiencing lag, which is not good. Welcome to Australia. Lag be of abundance. Forget about the mining boom. There's a lag boom, ladies and gentlemen. My fine apparel. I'm not sure about Yeah, this. so... I don't think you... Last thing you worry about is blood on your apparel. Sorry, boy. Is this where we have to go? Oh, yes. It seems it is. Look at that. Cages up here. Ooh. Oh, hello. Go send you flying. Oh, damn fence in the way. Smash, smash. And a smash. Hello there. Gonna put this down, whatever it does. Whoa, 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 we're getting attacked by a bandit gunner. Look at that size of that triple barrel cannon. My goodness. Summoning my special sword of justice to smite thy enemies. And I'm going to use my shelter, which heals me up. And there we go, we're gonna bash this guy again. And I just squished it between a barrel and a hard hammer. Now we take care of the bandit cannon. Where is the front of that thing? Look at that. Now that is a cannon. And it's destroyed. Sorry about that. Good on your swordy. So, all these barrels, and yet we can't smash them. Such a shame. Hello there. Someone told me you're a bandit, and you are apparently a highway man. Apparently. Now let's banish this guy. 
Oh, come on. I want to get right there. I want to get someone at least flying off the edge. That is the purpose of all Guardian. To... Looks like someone's come to kill Excellent. Hello, Chain Gun Kelly. Let's return the favor. Come on. This, come this way. Come this way. Yes. Yes. Oh, ha, ha. And I'm going to send you flying, son. You just stand stand right there. I'll send her flying. Sorry. You've got to, you've got a plane to catch. Oh, dang nabbit. She didn't go flying off the side of the edge. Well, I'm going to pretend that she did. She went flying. You all saw that. She would have anyway if it wasn't for the imaginary spacecraft. No, not spacecraft. What am I talking about? Spacecraft. Armoured up. Ready to poon. And bam. Spam. Take you, ma'am. It's not a bad dream. Come on out. Thank the gods you came along. Yes, everyone is free. Hooray. Thank you so much, both of you. I'll never forget this. You're still in danger. Gather the others and head down that tunnel. You can escape through the abandoned farmhouse. And if you know any fair maidens, be sure to tell them who rescued you. The dashing Lord Farron. And his friend. Just get yourself and the others to a safe place. That's all the thanks we need. Speak for yourself, old chum. Before I go, take these documents. I lifted them from the bandits when they were manhandling me. They mentioned some kind of leader in Divinity's Reach. Is that helpful? It is indeed. Thank you. Now please go. We'll make sure you get out of here safely. You need to go this okay, way. Okay, so you... Let me go. Defeat the pursuing bandits. Wait. Defeat the... Oh, okay. So I have to now escort the uh, prisoners to safe tear. This is not the way to go. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see these guys. Aha. You were going to fly off the edge. And you didn't because you hit the imaginary wall of imaginary messnessness. Flicking some chains in your direction. Gonna get pooned for my... It no, that I better not finish that sentence. I don't know what rhymes with direction. Ah, damn. Protect Stuff that up, me. didn't I? Protect you. Yes, I shall. Oh, whoa, whoa. This girl can some... Does like a Matrix move. Out of the dirt. Uh, my hat goes off to you, long, young lady who died. And uh, they're all dead. Uh, is that the end? No. This, they could be still pursued. Gods, what will we do now? I'll protect thy... Ah, ha, 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 I made my own magical world of walls that you cannot enter. I was supposed to say wall, but I ended up saying world. Yes. Sleepy I am. Hmm. Sleepy I am. Indeed. So, there we go. Superior studded gloves. I shall have a look at thy, and I cannot equip thee. I need heavy. Heavy armor. Heavy armor is what I require. No, you're not. Be quiet. I'll be alright. Wait, you, you'll be alright. Sorry. I know I'll be alright. So, if you haven't noticed, I ate something. 20% um, chance to grant my when you kill a foe and 10 experience from kills. There you go. I ate some kind of uh, food that was in my infantry. So, there we go. Oh, who's this? Hello. Captain Thackeray. We've had the most marvelous adventure. My friend and I defeated these delinquents with panache and a plum. You're just in time to celebrate our victory. I'm amazed. And again, I should have known the hero of Shamor wouldn't let your kidnapping go unanswered. No one hurts my friends without answering to me. And look, we found this letter in the bandit cave. Someone in Divinity's Reach is pulling their strings. No common thug would use such expensive parchment. There's a paper maker at the trading post named Sinfurserai. Terribly prickly man, but I bet he could identify the design. Captain Thackeray, let me talk to the paper maker. I'll get the information you need without anyone realizing the Seraph are aware of the traitor in the city. A solid plan. I'm grateful for the help, but be careful. Whoever's behind this plot is playing rough. I'll be waiting in the city to hear what you find. I'll try to keep Farron out of trouble between here and Divinity's Reach. No promises, though. Okay, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, second, uh... Oh, I have to get the sickle. I just have to. What's next? 
and I think I'm full up on bags. No, we're not. Excellent. So they did give me one. Sweet. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I have oh, 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 better eggs at the uh, instance, and I should teleport right where I was, and there probably will be bandits waiting for me, unless someone is there who has already killed them. No, there's bandits here waiting for me. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of uh, Jay Peterman's personal uh, story. It's the very first one, indeed. And uh, take care, everyone. Until next time, see you later. And my shoulder pad stabbed me in the face.